man, here I was thinking, I'm crazy. I must be doing something wrong. It feels like all my weapons are ranking up so much slower than they were a couple of days ago. Maybe you thought the same, but guess what? We're not crazy. There actually were some changes made to the XP values here and weapon XP values in particular within Vanguard. Today we're going to break down the XP changes and some bonuses we actually got in regards to the battle pass, but also then talking about what this means for the future here in regards to the weapon grinds and things that go along like that, if there will be any changes or anything made even in relation to that XP. But anyways, as we go along, let me know your thoughts down below. Did you guys feel like you noticed this change while grinding your weapons in Vanguard? How do you feel about said change and anything else in between? let me know down below but if you enjoyed the video do me a favor drop a like on it let's aim for 2,000 likes on this video and of course if you are new to the channel hit that subscribe button for whether it be news and information updates like this best class setups camo guys tutorials whatever the case we got you covered here on the channel so with nearly 70 percent of viewers not subscribed if you'd like to join us on that road to half a million subscribers and stay up to date with all things vanguard i'd love to have you in the community and finally my friends over at g fuel bumped up code espresso to 30 percent off so if you guys would like to try out something for the very first time or get a restock whatever the case now's as best a time as any. That said, let's talk about these XP changes for Vanguard. So let's start out with some cool stuff here in regards to XP before we shift over to some of the changed values that actually really affect your time within Vanguard. With the same update that introduced some of these changes we'll talk about in a second, we also saw that the preseason Vanguard bonus was enacted for the Battle Pass. We haven't quite gotten around to talking about this, but it's a nice little boost here for those that haven't completed their Battle Pass from either Black Ops Cold War within Season 6 in Warzone, or you may not have just even had the game or you didn't play Warzone in Season 6 at all, to the point where now you can progress, get all those items and everything. That's the nice part I think that I liked about the start of Vanguard here is that you didn't have to pick one or the other. Even though ranks and everything like that aren't synchronized to be one-to-one -one just yet, you ended up getting the same XP yields in Vanguard for both your Battle Pass and your overall ranks as you would if you were playing, say, Black Ops Cold War or Warzone. That, again, evidenced by the fact that your overall rank is lifted in season six as well if you go back to either of those games and also the fact you're making progress here on the battle pass so just by simply playing vanguard you'll also not only get progress towards that battle pass but also an extra little boost here for doing so so you're actually making more progress seemingly than you would be in black ops cold war and Warzone. so honestly really cool to see this here happen and i'm all for boost to anything xp wise but now shifting focus, that's where we get to the unfortunate downside because some of the XP values specifically for Vanguard weaponry have been changed. Now, we've talked about on the channel already the weapon grind here, how the big things you really want to take part in before the Warzone integration is making sure that your weapons are ranked up to wherever you want, whether that be your rifles and SMGs, maybe you're a sniper main, you want to rank all those up, but you want to make sure that you at least have some weapons fully ranked before the integration, and then you can also work on things like camo challenges simultaneously and things like that. But also, even if you don't care about Warzone, just simply having everything ranked up obviously gives you better benefits in terms of your attachments, your builds you can make with your classes, and everything that goes along with that. But the biggest hurdle with that grind is just simply the time that it takes. There's not really any weapon in Vanguard that is incredibly hard to use or anything like that, and things like your launchers and melees, those are defaulted to be level 1 as their max, so the really only tough part is having the patience to get from level 1 to 70 or 60 in secondary cases. This felt like kind of a struggle here from the very beginning, but honestly, it was was something that as the last couple of days has seemed a little bit harder. Whether it's something you track all the kills that you end up getting from level 1 to 70 and comparing it to other weapons, you may have noticed that it takes a little bit more. But that's because the weapon XP yields were actually decreased in a lot of the modes here in Vanguard as of a couple of days ago. Now, a huge shout out to Sour. He's an incredibly underrated creator. He goes in, tests all this kind of stuff out, and picks out things that you may never even realize about the game. And as of his findings, he ended up discovering that things like Champion Hill, the XP yield for weapons was gutted. Search and Destroy had a minor buff to the weapon XP granted per kill. But then everything else across FFA, TDM, Dominant, Nation, patrol, hardpoint, and kill confirmed were all decreased across the board depending on the combat pacing, meaning that you're not actually crazy if it feels like every weapon that you've progressed in the last couple of days has taken longer. 
it actually has. Now, again, a huge shout out to Sour. Make sure you go check out his video and his channel linked in the description below. He breaks down a ton of stuff, not just necessarily only the XP values here for weapon XP, but also a lot of other cool stuff in that video. But the fact that we have this changed is kind of eye opening. This was something that, again, I really think the biggest problem with weapon XP in general was that it was too little to begin with. You, of course, do have things like your double weapon XP tokens. You can use those from Warzone and they'll transfer over to Vanguard despite not showing in the in-game UI, you will actually still get those double XP bonuses once you activate it in Warzone. You have things like your clan bonuses that you can end up getting for all of your different progression levels of operator, rank, weapon XP, and clan leveling. But a stealth nerf to the XP rates was not something that I was expecting to see when considering things that may not have been explicitly stated in the patch notes as of a couple of days ago with the last update that we saw. Now, is this something that will be reverted? I actually don't know. We've seen these changes made in the past beforehand, and while we've also seen some changes like this happen inadvertently to which they were fixed and corrected a couple of days later, we've also seen some times where this has stuck in the past. So right now, it's kind of a 50-50 toss-up. We do have a major title update, I would imagine, coming sometime in the next week. I mean, we do need to end up seeing shipment actually added into the game. That's going to require a title update. That's also probably when I expect the first major weapon tunings pass to happen with all kinds of balancing across all the categories of weapons, so probably tuning to the shotguns and some of the bugs there with that, the STG, other weapons that are overused and things like that to try and bring variants to any sort of air quote meta for the game. But it really comes down to how much of a grind Sledgehammer actually intends for these weapons to be. And here's the thing, I mean, I know that we're not supposed to get every weapon level 70 within the first couple of days to a week. The grinders who play the game consistently and in the terms of the discussion here for this, even you and I that come to YouTube for for Call of Duty content, we are in the minority in terms of we play the most out of the global populace. By us seeking out another avenue to discuss the game, we're way more invested than probably 80 to 90% of the player base globally. So whereas this is kind of an annoyance for us, it may not be for a vast majority of players, but it comes down to how much was this intended to be a true grind, or is this something that's bugged? That's something that I think will be answered in a little bit of time, but right now, we're in that really weird scenario where it may take a little bit longer than we expected to rank up these weapons, to either get attachments, to get ready for the Warzone integration, or just to go for camos. So if you have double XP tokens, they can help you out, but probably not as much as a couple of days ago they would have, but unfortunately, that's where we're at here at this. So hopefully, I would love to see this sort of reverted. I'd love to see those XP yields restored to their former glory, but I wanted to keep you guys in the loop here at this because I saw these findings and it validated that I was wasn't crazy the last couple of days when I was grinding these weapons and I'm like this is taking forever. I thought that I completed other weapons faster. So nice to know that I'm not crazy and probably that you guys aren't as well, but that's where we're going to wrap it up. I would love to hear your thoughts and feedback down there in the comment section down below. Do you hope that we see these values for XP reverted? Do you think that it's good where it's at? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all things Vanguard, whether that be updates and information like this, best class setups, camo guides, whatever the case, we got you covered here on the channel. So if you're interested in any of that, hit that subscribe button. If you also want to follow me over on Twitter and Instagram, those are the best places to chat with me outside of YouTube. So if you'd like to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever the case, that link is down there in the description below. That said, thanks so much for watching. My name is Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.